Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. A book that highly piqued my interest, Jesus in Jerusalem. And this is going to be a scholarly tome about uh, what life was like in Jerusalem, basically Jesus last week. I've been reading through it. I haven't read it from cover to cover. It may never. It may never just have enough time. I could die and go to heaven tonight. But uh, The Last Days, Jesus in Jerusalem by Eckhart J. Schnabel, forward by Craig Evans. You know, Craig Evans, Bloomberg, they are so, Bloomberg's one of the uh, most amazing most uh, voluminous writers, Craig Evans, great on Christian evidences. And so this is going to be a book that's really going to blend secular and sociological history, sociological in a positive sense, not in a negative sense, with the biblical narrative and how it all blends together. This is put out by Erdman's. Now Erdman's is going to print, they're up in Grand Rapids, they're going to print some fairly liberal things. So part reference guide, part theological exploration, Eckhart Schnabel's Jesus in Jerusalem uses the biblical text and recent archaeological evidence to uncover depths of meaning in Jesus', Jesus final days on earth. Schnabel profile the 72 people and groups and the 17 geographic locations named in the four passion narratives. So that's just cool examining the 72 people in the last few days of Jesus' life and the 17 geographic locations. So I've been reading through some of that. I'll let you read that slip cover there. We're talking about that. So where else can you find that? So CBD was so kind to send me an ad for this book. And I ordered it, and it wasn't out yet. And then I just got it in the mail a while back. You'll notice in the back, Craig Keener. Now, you're talking about a voluminous writer, Craig Keener. Wow, how does he find the time to write? I think he teaches at Duke. He's a pastor or on staff somewhere. And just writes just volume after volume. And he's kind of really proves Acts 238, which is good. Um, Magis, Schnabel's magisterial command of the sources, both Jewish and Greco-Roman, or his knowledge of secondary literature. So let's look at what this looks like in here. You can see, I mean, this is, not only is it a large book, but it is small print, too. And that means he is cramming stuff in there. So you got Keener recommends it, D.A. Carson, Craig Evans wrote the forward. So kind of a who's who of the evangelical, new evangelical vanguard. And so it's going to be 680 pages. But that being said, 680 pages... And see, the good stuff is in the notes in the back so often. I, I try to read all the notes and everything. Okay. So the notes go from page 399. The bibliography is just massive, too. The notes go from 399 to 578. So he's got 179 pages of notes. Look at that. Now let's go to the bibliography here. Before we go to the bibliography, I just want to show you what it looks like without the dust jacket. It's just your basic academic book. But this is the kind of book, man, I would use this in a, like a Life of Christ class or something. And maybe not have the students read it all, but read a little bit of it anyhow. And uh, because of the life of Christ, you want the whole life of Christ, not just the last days. But who knew that Jesus even had 72 people in 17 geographical locations around his last thing? So here's the bibliography. Wow. Let's see how big this bibliography is. It's the bibliography that never ends. Wow, it goes on and on, my friend. Where does it start? I obviously skipped where it starts. Okay, it starts on page 579, which is obvious since that's where the notes ended, and goes through in small print 
pilgrims before the God. Like, and so I learned books I never even knew existed. So from 579, 21 pages to 628. So 49 pages of bibliography. Look at that. Isn't that simply amazing? So this is where you go to find other books on the subject to learn more um, than you would even get in this tome and in this volume. Wow, what can I say? Can't wait to read some more in it by the grace and help of God. Love you in Jesus' name.